right, guys. So I got these wrist pin bushings for the dozer. These are the original case bushings. Uh, I thought they were the wrong ones at first, though, because they do not fit on the actual wrist pins. These are for the... Uh, these are the wrist pins for the uh, pistons here on the engine. So there's that wrist pin. There's that bushing. They clearly just don't fit. Uh, thought they were the wrong ones. I got to reading, though, in the uh, my repair manual, and it actually specifies in the manual to ream these uh, between 0.7 and 1.4 thousandths oversize of what the wrist pin is. So you, it wasn't the wrong one. These are just intended to be reamed to size. So um, I told people that I had to ream these holes out several times, and it always makes people chuckle. A lot of people have never heard that term, and they don't know about this tool right here. This is an adjustable hand ream, and the, the typical way to drive that is with a big pad handle. The way that works is these are all blades, and they are on they they are wedges, and these slots are cut the opposite of that wedge. So you can loosen this side up, tighten this side, and it pushes it down this way, and this the wedge causes this to shrink. You go back the other way, it causes it to grow. So what you do is you take a tool like this, it's called a transfer gauge, spring-loaded. You put that in your bushing here. Okay, tighten this thing down and then you tilt it out of there. I didn't do a very good job just trying to show you how it works. So then you can measure this with your micrometer, right? So, come in here. Oh. I'm trying to do this in a weird position so I can show you guys. <laughs> well, anyway, point is, uh, you measure this, <laughs> you know how big it is, how big your hole is. In this case, that came out to be uh, spot on, actually. I did a really good job. So that is 2.022, uh, oh, and some change thousandths of an inch. The wrist pin bushing is two and a quarter, right on the money. So it's, it's two tenths over, so it's 2.2502. So then you measure this across the reamer here. You measure across these teeth, see what that's currently measuring, you make a slight adjustment. Measure it again, you do that until it gets to where you want it. Reamers only have a capability of taking like five to ten thousandths at a time. So I've already gotten started here. Uh, on these, so I've taken out of all of them about ten thousandths on my first kind of rough cut here. You can see, maybe you can see, I wasn't just super happy with that surface finish. It just doesn't look real great. It's not rough, it's not as rough as it looks. But I didn't really love it. Um, so what I did actually is uh, on my second pass, I set it up, set the reamer up in here. And then I actually put the part on here and turned the part around the reamer. And I'm not sure why or if you can tell, but that turned out a much, much cleaner looking surface finish. You can still see some of the tool marks in there, but you can't feel them. None of that raises your... You can't catch it with your fingernail on any of that or anything like that. You can't feel it. So I like that better. I think that's what I'm going to keep doing here. So this is set up for that. So this should be taking about 5 thousandths out or something like that. I think actually it ended up being more than I expected it to be for whatever reason. But it's still undersized where I need to be, so we'll keep going. And then I had had to buy one new rod entirely, and it came with a wrist pin bushing that was the correct size. So they are out there, you can get them, but if you end up in this situation, and you have access to a reamer, it's not that difficult to do. Just ream these out. Switch that down and see what's going on. See, I'm just turning these, and this is backwards of the, to the traditional way to run these. Normally, you part would be stationary and turn the reamer. This is just working better. I think it's partially because since it's, as it's cutting, everything has fallen out better than it did when I 
try doing it the other direction. There we go. Just like that. Now we're that much further. And we'll just keep doing that and adjusting it until we get it dialed in. Pretty straightforward. Just like that, take some measurements, make some adjustments. Do it all again.
there you go. It's uh, all four wrist pin bushings, all uh, ring to size. I installed the pistons, so next video we'll be uh, pushing the sleeves in, hopefully, and installing the rod bearings. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Stick with me. <laughs> we'll get this engine done. Uh, see you next time.